Okay, so it's another third phrase, and very soon in the evening, they are going to force the masses into the slaughterhouses to drain them of their money again through fake New Year resolutions. That's what they do for us every third first night. They force people to scream and pray, wear white, you know. We are entering a New Year of blessings, promises, all that. And what did we get for 2020? Corona, all over Ghana. Private school teachers losing their jobs, aside the many others whose businesses went down and all that. And yes, so God could not do anything. Though she informed me a lot. I mean, if through here you have not thought about your your religious allegiance to that sky daddy, I don't know. I don't know when else you're going to think about it. Maybe you, you are doomed to be a Christian for all your life, but trust me it doesn't you don't even need to trust me think for yourself i don't have everything you still have to go to school you still have to think of i mean that's why the father people were losing their jobs and their livelihood prices were still going higher people had to still scheme their ways through to survive that is what is the problem your god has no solution if he had ghana would have been a better place for us so well i know People still want to go, you know, because they've sewn some new clothes and they want to go and show it in church. That's fine. But be very thoughtful. Be very wise this time. Don't go and give all your money to pastor. And then come um, January, be thinking of how you're going to fast and pray for 40 days. That, that thing nearly gave me ulcer some time ago, you know, because imagine you go to work from morning till evening and they're like, come to church to pray again. And uh, like the whole day you don't eat. I mean that's crazy for close to 30 days when jesus was fasting he was in the wilderness he wasn't working he wasn't being disturbed by anybody that's that thing i feel it's really killing people because in this modern society that we are you can't live life without going to work without doing something for yourself and i remember one time i had a, an issue with a woman in the church because like after work they expect us to come to church we shouldn't even go home and what do they serve us after our fasting tea Charlie, meanwhile your pastor maybe is even eating some fufu before coming to church listen 2021 be very wise for yourself also be jimmy ohona suffer oh yeah pray for me pray for me and i feel it but what was him all but be wise just be wise for yourself think work learn go to school whatever you want to achieve that's what you should focus your mind on because at the end of the day the pastor's sole job is to make sure he's draining you of enough cash and since you are mumu enough for him to do that he continues to do that he gets it but if you're wise eventually their churches are going to dwindle because they realize they will not have anybody to drain I've been out of church for like almost three years now. It's cool. It's fun. It's it's made me more thoughtful of myself and be more careful with everything I'm doing every day because like I don't have to do you're accountable to yourself, not to some sky daddy. Satan doesn't count to torment anybody. When you decide to do something bad, it goes against you yourself, not the devil. In fact, people need to think, 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 think.